We're here to talk to you today about tempo, what it is and how exactly it works. Most of us, when we hit a bad shot, are told by our playing partner or our coach, slow down, and we hit the next one beautiful. You first have to understand two tendencies that disrupt your tempo. The first one being getting to the top and pulling the handle hard and aggressive like this. Well, if I do that, the ball is gonna go way off to the right, and you can see how quick my swing looked. So we get told, you gotta slow down. So we slow down, and we don't go so aggressive from the top, and this club head releases under my hands, and we get the shaft back to parallel and hit one just like that. The second tendency is when we get to the top of the swing and we go so hard and aggressive, from here, the club releases too much, and we scoop one way out to the left. Big hook, way over there. So again, our coach or playing partner says, slow down. So what does the player do? They get to the top, and instead of releasing it so hard, and so early, they get right here, and they pull just a little bit. And they get the club right to that folding point we've talked about, and they hit one right down the middle like that. But it never really sticks throughout the round. And the reason why it never sticks is our failure to realize exactly what tempo is and how it works. Well, what tempo is, is a marriage between the release and the body moving. So like we just showed in that demonstration, if I get to the top and only move, handles forward, clubs pointed out to the right, we're gonna shake it or hit it right. So if I go up to the top and I don't move and I only release it, that club's gonna scoop through the ball and you're probably gonna hit a hook over to the left, or you might not even reach it. So it's a marriage between the two. So I wanna get up to the top and start releasing. And you can see now as I move, the shaft gets right back to parallel or my hand's slightly in front. And that's where you want to be. You don't want to be too far on either side. So there's a great drill and training aid that we can actually do to help feel that. And we've recently partnered with G-Force Golf. And they've sent us this wonderful training aid to help us identify our miss when we're trying to achieve that desired tempo. We also have been given a promo code. If you hit the link in the description below and use that promo code, it'll give you 10% off. I'm gonna leave that right here. So if I go up to the top with the G-Force training aid and I start turning and without releasing, that club's gonna bend this way. And I'm really gonna feel that and I'm gonna hit it way off to the right, just like that. Vice versa, if I went up to the top and I didn't move and I only released, I'm gonna feel that shaft bend forward just like that. That's gonna scoop that ball way off to the left. <laughs> or you're probably not going to hit it like we said before, just like that. So with this training aid, we're really able to feel getting up to the top. And when we start to release and move at the same time, just like this, you can feel that the shaft's not really bending one way or the other. And that's how you actually want your swing to feel. So if I got up here and did that, I can hit it pretty clean right down the middle, just like that. I would do that over and over, really trying to feel that that shaft's not bending too much that way or bending too much behind me. And then I marry my body movement right into it. And I start to be able to have effortless power without trying so hard to do it. Because now for the first time, not only do we know how tempo works, we know how to achieve it. I hope this explanation on tempo has helped. Again, if you want to do this drill with the training aid, with the G-Force training aid, hit the link in the description below. Use the promo code here. If you want to see more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope it helps.